prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism, Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth, Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud, Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective, Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language, Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist. Let us be sorry for our many sins, and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule, and that your church may rejoice untroubled in her devotion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, concerning the salvation of your souls, the prophets who prophesied about the grace that was to be yours searched and investigated it, investigating the time and circumstances that the Spirit of Christ within them indicated when it testified in advance to the sufferings destined for Christ and the glories to follow them. It was revealed to them that they were serving not themselves, but you, with regard to the things that have now been announced to you by those who preach the good news to you through the Holy Spirit sent from heaven things into which angels long to look. Therefore, gird up the loins of your mind, live soberly, and set your hopes completely 
on the grace to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Like obedient children, do not act in compliance with the desires of your former ignorance, but as he who called you is holy, be holy yourselves in every aspect of your conduct. For it is written, be holy because I am holy. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has made known his salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song. Sing praise. The Lord has made known his salvation. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Peter began to say to Jesus, We have given up everything and followed you. Jesus said, Amen, I say to you, there is no one who has given up house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or lands for my sake and for the sake of the gospel who will not receive a hundred times more now in this present age houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions and eternal life in the age to come. But many that are first will be last, and the last will be first. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, People may not always appreciate the good works that we do, but we are sure that Jesus always does. And this is the assurance that Jesus gives to Peter in our gospel today. Peter says to Jesus, Lord, we have given up everything and followed you. And that is true. Peter and the other apostles of Jesus gave up their livelihood, gave up their families, they gave up their future in order to follow Jesus. They left everything behind in order to be Jesus' disciples. And Jesus tells Peter, You will not go unrewarded. 
Jesus assures Peter that they will receive the reward more than what they have given. This is also the encouragement that we heard in our first reading today. The first letter of Peter is addressed to second-generation Christians. And the author of the letter tells these Christians about the faith they have received and encourages them to live by this faith. Ito na kasi yung henerasyon na hindi na nakilala si Jesus at hindi na rin masyadong nakilala ang mga alagad ni Jesus. Kaya hinihimok sila na magpatuloy sa kanilang pagsunod sa Ibanghelyo ni Jesus at sa mga katuruan ni Jesus. Continue being good Christians. Continue following Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus sees our efforts to do good. Jesus sees our struggles in order to avoid temptation and sin. Jesus sees our determination to follow His will. Nakikitang lahat yan ng Panginoon. And so we are given consolation that even if people will not appreciate and recognize the good things that we do, Jesus sees them all. When you come to Mass, Jesus sees your effort in order to participate in the Eucharist. Pwede namang medyo tanghali na lang kayong gumising, dumiretsyo na sa inyong pupuntahan o sa inyong trabaho, pero mag effort pa kayo na pumunta dito para magsimba. Or for those joining the live streaming of this Mass, your effort to spend time in order to participate in the Eucharist, Jesus sees that. When we let go of things we think we deserve in order to give them to other people, when we exert effort in order to serve others, when we sacrifice things for ourselves, in order to do acts of charity and love, Jesus sees those actions. And Jesus also assures us, as he assures Peter, that will not go unrewarded. Tomorrow, my dear brothers and sisters, we will begin the Lenten season, a season when we are encouraged to pray more, to do penances and sacrifices, and to intensify our good works, especially for other people in need. And in our gospel tomorrow, we will hear Jesus telling us, God, who sees what is secret, will reward you. My dear brothers and sisters, let us not be discouraged when our good works are unrecognized and unappreciated. Huwag tayong magtatampo o sasama ang loob kapag sa kabila ng ating pagsisikap na magpakabuti, gumawa ng mabuti sa kapwa, hindi tayo pinasasalamatan at hindi napapansin ng ating mabuting ginagawa. Let us just continue doing good, even if we are not recognized 
and appreciated. Let us just continue doing good even if we are maligned and even if people question our intentions. Minsan kasi gumagawa na nga tayo ng mabuti, pagdududahan pa tayo kung bakit tayo gumagawa ng mabuti. Magpatuloy lang sa paggawa ng kabutihan because Jesus sees everything. And one day, Jesus will reward our goodness. Jesus will reward our faithfulness to Him in ways we could never imagine. Please stand. Aware of the danger in putting our trust in the pleasures of this world, we lift up our hearts in fervent prayer to the Father. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church throughout the world may be an effective sign of the way to everlasting happiness and eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. That we may learn to trust in spiritual values, which enrich our being, and not in material possessions, which bring discontent to our souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that we may never close our hearts to those in need, but consciously involve ourselves in Christ's work of healing and reconciling. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our deceased relatives and friends may enjoy God's peace in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We continue to ask the intercession of Our Lady of Fatima and St. John Paul II for peace in Ukraine. We also pray for our personal petitions, for the people who need our prayers, and for the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, look with compassion on the needy, enlighten our lives with your truth, and give us the grace to live out the high ideals put before us by your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who provide gifts to be offered to your name, 
and count our oblations as signs of our desire to serve you with devotion, we ask of your mercy that what you grant as the source of merit may also help us to attain merit's reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. 
us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to deceive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. We wish to remind you that tomorrow is Ash Wednesday, and our Masses here at the Manila Cathedral will be at 7.30 in the morning, 12.10 in the afternoon, and 5.30 in the afternoon. Ash Wednesday is a day of fasting and abstinence. For those who are 14 years old and above, we are asked to abstain from meat tomorrow. And for those who are 18 years old to 59 years old, we are asked to fast, which means that we will eat only one full meal tomorrow. And Pope Francis asks us to offer our prayers and our fasting tomorrow for Ukraine. Tomorrow will be a day of prayer for peace in Ukraine. And so let us spend this day preparing ourselves spiritually to enter into this holy season of Lent. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Maria, in 